In this video, we will discuss logarithms and some of the main logarithmic rules. Let's start by defining what a logarithm is. A logarithm is the exponent to which the base must be raised to to produce a given number. The general form for a logarithm looks like this. LOG is just an abbreviation for logarithm. A is the base. Y is the exponent and x is the given number. And if you wanted to say this generalized form aloud, it would be the log base a of x equals y. Now we can translate this generalized form of a logarithmic equation into the following exponential equation. Now this makes sense if we look back to our definition. y is the exponent we raise the base a to to get the given number x. We can transform this logarithmic equation into its exponential form, and it becomes 2 to the y equals 8. We know 2 cubed, or 2 to the third power, equals 8, so y must equal 3. Now let's say you had a slightly different problem. The log base 3 of x equals 2. You can transform this into its exponential form, and it becomes 3 squared equals x, so x equals 9. Now for some general log conventions. So the first convention is when the base of a logarithm is 10, you can omit the subscript 10. So let's say you had the log base 10 of 100. This can be written more simply as just the log of 100. And because no subscript is explicitly written, it's implied that the base here is 10. And the second convention is if the base for a logarithm is the irrational number e, this is a natural logarithm. If you don't know what e is yet, don't worry about this part. But if you do and you had the log base e of x, this can be written as ln of x, where ln stands for the natural logarithm and represents a logarithm with a base e. Now let's cover some of the main log rules, the first of which is the product rule. The product rule of logarithms states that if you have the log base a, of m times n, this is equal to the log base a of m plus the log base a of n. For example, let's say you are the log base 3 of 4 plus the log base 3 of 8. This is equal to the log base 3 of 8 times 4 which is 32. Now let's consider the second big log rule, and this is the quotient rule. Now the quotient rule states that if you have the log base a of m divided by n, this is equal to the log base a of m minus the log base a of n. So for example, if you had the log base 6 of 12 minus the log base 6 of 3. This is equal to the log base 6 of 12 divided by 3, which is 4. Now the third and final rule we're going to cover in this video is the power rule. The power rule states that if you have the log base a of x to the n, this is equal to n times the log base a of x. So if you have the log base a of something raised to a certain power, you can bring that power down and multiply as a coefficient for the logarithm. So for example, if you had the log base 3 of 4 squared, this can be rewritten as 2 times the log base 3 to the 4. Now let's do some log practice problems. Let's say our first problem is the log base 3 of 4 plus the log base 3 of 9 fourths equals x, and we have to solve for x. First, we would apply the product rule of logarithms. So the left side can be rewritten as the log base 3 of 4 times 9 over 4, and this is equal to x. If we multiply 4 and 9 over 4, we get the log base 3 of 9 equals x. And now we rewrite this in its exponential form. 3 to the x equals 9, and therefore x equals 2 because 3 squared equals 9. 
Now for our second problem, let's say we have the log base 2 of 12 minus the log base 2 of x equals 2. We can apply the quotient rule of logarithms on the left side of our equation, and this becomes log base 2 of 12 divided by x, and this is equal to 2. If we convert this to its exponential form, we get 2 squared equals 12 over x. 2 squared is equal to 4, so 4 equals 12 over x. And if we multiply by x on both sides, we get 4x equals 12, which means that x equals 3. For the third problem, let's say we have log base a of 4 equals 1 fourth, and we have to solve for the base a. We would rewrite this in its exponential form, a to the 1 fourth equals 4, and we would raise both sides to their fourth power, so a to the 1 fourth to the fourth power equals 4 to the fourth. The left hand side of our equation becomes a, and the right hand side becomes 256, so a equals 256 is our solution. For the fourth problem, let's say we have the equation log base 4 of 9 plus log base 4 of 2 equals the log base 4 of 36 minus the log base 4 of x. We can apply the product rule of logarithms on the left hand side and we would get the log base 4 of 9 times 2 which is 18 and on the right side we can apply the quotient rule of logarithms and we would get the log base 4 of 36 over x. For these two sides to be equal to each other, 18 has to equal 36 over x. If you multiply by x on both sides, you get 18x equals 36, which gives us x equals 2. Now for the fifth and final problem in this video, let's say you have the log base 3 of 1 over x equals 2. There's a trick to solving this. You have to rewrite this as the log base 3 of x to the negative 1 equals 2. x to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over x, so these two equations are the same. And now we can apply the power rule. If we bring the negative 1 to the front and multiply it as a coefficient, we get minus 1 times the log base 3 of x equals 2. Now if we divide by minus 1 on both sides, we get the log base 3 of x equals minus 2. And now we can translate this into exponential form, and it becomes 3 to the minus 2 equals x. Therefore, x is equal to 1 over 3 squared, which means that x is equal to 1 ninth. 